Hello, David. They call me MacGyver. On my last video, I showed you the danger of yellow buttercup and what happens when you do weed eating or crush the plant. It releases an acidic oil and it actually causes blisters and um, irritation on the skin. This time I'm going to show you what you need to do to treat it, which was kind of an unusual way. After I did a video call with my doctor, he told me to do something that I thought was kind of odd, but it seemed to work. So I'll show you what that is. So hang tight with me and we'll get started. So here's the yellow buttercup, what it looks like. And my previous video was the danger of yellow buttercup. And it soaks into your skin and then eventually starts burning. It's a chemical burn. It's an acidic oil that actually gets into your skin and just continues to burn. You can see where the blister has completely filled up there and uh, we've got a blister right there on top that had already popped on its own and the doctor had me uh, put olive oil that's right that's what's weird olive oil I was always told never to do it but apparently because it's an oil base it dilutes it down and then he had me put a steroid cream on and I did that for a couple days and then I uh, switched to uh, a cream called Silvadine cream and he, I use that along with uh, triple antibiotic ointment and I, or Neosporin, and I mixed them together. That way the antibiotic ointment uh, was antiseptic and then the uh, Silvadin cream actually cooled the uh, burn because it was still continuing to burn um, several days after I uh, got the plant oil on me. You just said, Pile it on there, and then if you need to, you can use a non-stick um, Teflon non-stick bandage and use a stretch gauze to hold it onto your, onto your foot or ankle or arm or wherever you might, hands, if, if you were burned on your hands, whatever. Um, hopefully, you'll never have to go through this, but if you do, this is how it's treated, and... Then I, I did this for a couple days, and then um, because the blisters continued to form, um, my doctor told me to take a um, needle and sterilize it with heat, uh, you know, put, put fire on it, or use alcohol to sterilize it, and then he wanted me to um, pop those blisters and drain the fluid out. He said... The only reason he it's, people are told not to pop their blisters is because they don't want to get infection into the um, into the wound, and it had already been a few days, and the skin was already starting to form underneath the blister. And then he just said, just be sure that you uh, sterilize the needle before you pop it and get the fluid out, and it will uh, begin healing even faster, and then it also won't be so painful. So then, um, after I did this a few days, that's what I did. I popped the blister with a, a sterilized needle and then worked the uh, fluid out. <laughs> it's funny because it seemed like my skin was pretty tough there. It was hard to get the needle to poke through it. But once I got it in, then I just worked the uh, fluid out. You can see it running down my foot onto the gauze down there. And I had to poke another hole because it actually healed itself up. So just keep working at it. There, there, got it again. Uh, we'll get that fluid out of there, work it out. And uh, just make sure you don't tear the skin all over. You just want to poke a small hole and then work that fluid out with a sterilized gauze. After you get it all dried off, then you go ahead and put your mixture of antibiotic and silvadin cream over the top of it. And then, um, it's funny, you would think that once you pop the blisters, that that would be it. But actually the next day, I had more blisters form. And they were right where your ankle bends. And I tell you, that was painful. Because every time you took a step, it would burn. So I 
wanted to get the blisters popped there and there was a couple of them one up high and uh, one down a little bit lower I did the lower one first and then there's an, another one right right there just a little higher so every time you bend your ankle it was causing a burning pain I was so glad to get those popped and get some silvadine cream and antibiotic ointment on them so that they could uh, be relieved a little bit and then each day it would just uh, the new skin underneath would grow and the skin on top would dry up and eventually it just started peeling off you can see there a little peeling and as I um, each day it just the top skin would get darker and fall off and more would peel off the new skin underneath is uh, regrowing and more peeling this is just day day after day progress it just kept peeling off and at this point it was uh, not really that painful I mean it pretty much had gone away itched a little bit but other than that it really wasn't painful at all and then it finally just turned back into what looked like a sunburn and it uh, eventually um, healed up and there it looks just looks like a slight sunburn well, I'd like to thank you for watching. I hope you have found that informational and hopefully you never have to use uh, this video in your life, but if you ever do, then you know how to treat your, your acidic oil burns. Well, thank you for watching again. I appreciate that. So please subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon. You'll be notified every time I put out a new video and you have a great day.